What's up, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube? Boogie the 988 coming at you live once again through the power of the internet. And you guys seem to like me uh, unboxing stuff, and uh, I, I like unboxing magic, obviously, because that's the thing I do collect. Uh, but I can only do that every so often, so I thought I would go ahead and introduce another thing that I collect. I'm gonna go ahead and show it to you now here, if you guys want to see. This is um, garbage pail kids. Now, if you're an older in person like me, you remember may remember these from when you were a kid, or maybe when you were in high school, or even younger than that. Um, or older than that, but these were these little collectible gross-out cards based off of the Cabbage Patch Kids, a parody of them, and uh, I like to collect these still, so I was going to open up these, which I bought tonight, and maybe you watch it, maybe you won't, that's okay, we'll upload it later in the week, and maybe you like it, maybe you won't, either way, it's up to you, uh, but I figured I'd crack into these here real quick. Um, I've been collecting Garbage Pail Kids since, oh geez, we're going to need scissors here, I've been collecting Garbage Pail Kids since they premiered God, who knows, 1984, somewhere along that lines. If you know, why don't you check, uh, post down below. Um, I, I lost all my kids that I, uh, cards that I had um, as a teenager um, from becoming an adult uh, and in the move and stuff like that. Um, but I was able to maintain, uh, I was able to rebuy them on eBay fairly cheaply, the first, second, third series. So I have basically everything. Um, I don't have some of the brand new series stuff that launched, I mean, early 2000s, but I do have... The brand new series, uh, the most recent stuff. And I have a complete Chrome Set 1, so hopefully here we'll get a complete Chrome Set 2. We won't get it just out of these, but I'll have to try more. Um, and these are like $20 a pop. Um, these are the value boxes, which are kind of cool because they have the refractor box uh, pack inside them, which is interesting to me. may not be that interesting to you. Um, in each box you get the special pack, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven total cards. Um, and just to keep the excitement alive, there's all kinds of crazy cool things you can get out of these. You can get artist sign cards, you can get templates, uh, you can get uh, a, a chance to be in the next Garbage Pail Kids set. You can get all kinds of crazy stuff. So uh, we'll, we'll hold the refractor pack for last. I'll get into, get into these. And again, I hope you guys like this stuff because I love unboxing stuff for you. Uh, now this set is um, 2014 Chrome set. What they've done here, these are not stickers, which is a big frustrating point for a lot of people. This is a reprint of the most famous series of all time, the second series. The one that's sold, I think, really the best, or certainly is the most popular. So this is a chroming of the original um, second series. Let's see if I can get you a little closer and a little more comfortable here. Probably. Without you seeing the camera and the... Well, whatever. You can see the camera. I don't really care. That's fine. Uh, but we've got... Oliver Twisted. Very cool. Very shiny. Uh, the backs are exactly as they were originally. So, we get all the puzzles, all of those things. Uh, we have Mad Max. Uh, now, this, I believe, is one of the returned cards. Or maybe that is as it originally appeared. I don't think that is, because that seems to be a mashup. And that's the case with this set. They also do have a retro set of returned cards. Returned kids. And this one seems to be one of the returned kids. Mad Max. Um, messing, messing with one of the other kids, so I'll put that in a separate pile. Uh, this one is one of the originals, Zach Plack. Very cool, very shiny. Again, you can see how shiny, you see my camera. It's how shiny that are, it's practically a mirror. Uh, then we have uh, Doug Plug. Again, uh, from the second series. Uh, when a, this guy has a silver border, as you can see, it's different from the others. So this is the special card we got out of our pack. Um, so there's a silver border parallel, and there's a few other parallels too. So if you really, really want to collect, you can buy hundreds of boxes of this stuff and still not get all of everything. Um, you know, your choice. Ooh. I think we're going to get something cool out of there. Uh, but first off, Oliver Twisted. That does look... That looks... That's different from the Oliver Twisted we just opened. So that's the return version, I guess. Um, that's kind of cool. I got to repeat on Doug Plug. Uh, definitely a product of the 80s, as you can see, because we got Ray Gun. Reagan. Very cool. And now this is uh, one of the uh, harder uh, things to collect out of the set. This is the, the pencil art, as you can see it says on the back. So this is the John Pound pencil art for the card of Cyclops. Very cool. Probably very rare. I don't know how rare, but rare enough to where it gets me excited as a casual collector. Obviously, I'm not going to spend hundreds of dollars on this. I've spent as much as I'm going to spend right here. 
Uh, here we go. We have uh, Fran, 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 Fran. Uh, yeah, that. Uh, what are they, What is that called? Not. What's the proper term? Conjoined twins. Rob Slob. I got called that a couple times in grade school because of this card. Thank you very much for that card book. Uh Brutal Brad. Definitely one of the more famous. Uh, character and then look, sexism is alive and well in the garbage well good universe. Oh, uh, yeah, definitely a very famous one as well. Soft boiled Sam, cool card. I like, I love doing this with you guys. So I hope you guys are enjoying it as well. Uh, next pack. Ah, oh, yeah, there we go. Sumo Sid. Of course, you now one of the things that I liked about these cards is as a fat kid, it was in a lot of positive fat role models, and I know Sumo Sid's supposed to be gross, and I knew it then. But I was gross, and I could connect to Sumo Sid. I thought maybe one day I want to be a sumo wrestler. I got Jolly Roger. And I think he's getting, uh, what do you call him, mutiny there. Michelle Mock, definitely a very famous second series kid. Saw that in a lot of posters growing up. Ah, and then we got the silver parallel of Ray Gun. Very cool. Two silver parallels out of one box. One uh, value pack. They're only halfway through. That's pretty cool. Ooh, I accidentally saw that one. I didn't want to see it. We saw it. Here we have uh, Acme Amy. I believe she was she in the movie, the shitty garbage folk kids movie. One of the worst movies of all time, by the way. If you haven't seen it, don't watch that movie. It's the worst. It's actually the worst. We got One Eyed Jack. Yeah, I think that's a euphemism for a penis, isn't it? But whatever. Okay. Uh, Vile Kyle. What's up, Vile Kyle? And uh, silver, oh, no, this is a pencil art. A pencil art of Jenny Jelly. Very cool. So again, if you want to collect, you can collect the shit out of the series. You could go through hundreds of dollars worth of packs to get there. Ah, definitely one of the more famous ones I remember. Nutty Nicole, a.k.a. every woman I ever dated except my wife. <laughs> uh, Live Mike. Live Mike. It's in the house getting electrocuted. I always wondered about this. Does he get electrocuted from his guitar? Or is he getting hit by lightning? I guess I, now that I see it as an adult, it's definitely his guitar that's frying him. Poor live mic. Ah, there we go. The parallel to, uh, what is this? Uh, Brutal Bridget. Brutal Bridget. Hey, guess what? Sexism is alive and well. Feminism. <laughs> I, don't, I don't really talk about the topic very often. Because I'm very ignorant of it. Uh, there we got Bye Bye Bobby going down the drain. You can barely see the drain on this chroming. That's a weird... Huh. Huh. Weird chroming on that card. But still pretty cool. I like it very, very much. Next up. Yeah, there we go. That's the one that got us a lot of trouble in kids uh, in, the, in the 80s because... A lot of religious schools and religious parents did not feel that mocking the devil was okay. So Hot Scott was definitely not something that was okay. We got uh, Prickly Rick. Again, that's another euphemism for penis, isn't it? Uh, here's another one that got us in a lot of trouble. Porn Lauren. The Playboy Bunny. A lot of kids these days won't even know what a Playboy Bunny was. But that was a Playboy Bunny. Cocktail Waitress. <laughs> Again, Cock and Tail. We're saying a lot of dirty things here on YouTube tonight. But that's okay. We got the cool, the, the cool bottle, and uh, here's the silver parallel of Fran Fran. Fran Fran. I didn't get that as a kid, the fact that it was called Fran Fran, but then I now get it because obviously they're two people. You know, simple. I'm no math wizard, but you can kind of figure it out. Now this is our special pack that you only get in these value boxes. So if you really want to go nuts. You gotta get this. You gotta get the value boxes until you get enough of everything. Um, we're only gonna get four cards too, so it's rough to do. But you got mixed up Mitch. He's half good guy, half bad guy. You got shrunken Ed. Shrunken Ed, get it? Oi, mate! I'll shrink you, Ed. There's Mad Max, as we saw on the uh, the uh, wait throwback card earlier. Mad Max, thank you very much, Mad Max, showing up. And yeah, one of the more famous ones, Patty Putty. What's up, Patty Putty? Very cool refractor, so. Um, I love the chroming on this set. It's very cool. A lot of people, again, upset that these are not stickers. I don't really care. I I'm never going to take my stickers off. 
And in fact, this greatly decreases the chance that my cards are going to be affected negatively by heat or a difficult store. So just for me, this is this is a great way to, to get the second series, which is very difficult for people to acquire these days. It's expensive, it's hard to find. Um, especially hard to find in good shape. So I'm glad that they're doing this. This way you don't have to see my fat, ugly gut as more as much. So let's see what we got. Starting off with Mixed Up Mitch. Now that's the return version of Mixed Up Mitch. We just saw uh, the original version of Mixed Up Mitch. Uh, original version of Mixed Up Mitch. He's a good kid and he's a bad kid. Now as an adult, he's become a cop and a thug. Very cool. Very funny. Uh, we got Greaser Greg all grown up. Greaser Greg returns as a... Uh, is that a gangster, maybe? Or is he supposed to be... A business tycoon? The book there says... Oh, it's a god for... Yeah, so he's, a, he's a gangster. He's become a gangster. Instead of a uh, small gang time, this kid. Uh, Spacey Stacy, of course. And uh, Silver Parallel of Ventilated Vinny. Poor Vinny. Getting all ventilated. That happens, Vinny. you got to deal with that from time to time. Sometimes you're going to get ventilated. Ooh, this is cool. Mona Loser. Uh, and I guess this is a return version because she's getting the nuke out of her head. I don't really know what the hell is going on here. That card is very weird. What the shit is even happening right there? Is that card special in any way? Is that a return? It is a return. It is a return of the original Mono Loser. So, uh, here we have Luke Warm. Very cool. Sarah Slime. And finally... Ah, oh, the pencil sketch of Russell's Muscles. What's up, Russell Muscle? You're looking beefy. I like these pencil sketches a lot. I, I don't know how many there are. Whatever it says on the back. Uh, nope, I guess not. Uh, we have Janet Planet. Jolted Joel. Good card. Chris Hiss, uh, as we saw his return version earlier. She's a small-time gangster. Oh, there we go. And it's the return version of Ghastly Ashley. Not so ghastly anymore. Man, that acne cleared up well. Oh, yeah, girl. Get you... Get, get, I don't want to touch boobs. <laughs> I'm very debonair. I'm very different. I don't want to touch your boobs, girl. Oh, okay. All right, let's just keep moving. Uh, here we have Art Gallery. It's got all those tattoos like that Weird Al song. Ah, uh, Phony Lisa returned. Now getting uh, sprayed on by uh, the, the other garbage pill kid. I can't remember his original name. A cheeky Charles. And Silver Parallel of Brainy Brian. What's up, Brainy Brian? That's my brother's name. Brainy Brian. And next up, the other version of uh, Live Mike returned, and this time he's electrocuting an entire band. Good job. A couple more people there. We've seen this before. This is the return version of Brainy Brian, but the uh, B version. Smelly Kelly. The B version. Then, and uh, here's one of the cards I definitely remember the second series. Dollar Bill. Pencil sketch, though. Very cool. Nice to have. I like these pencil sketches a lot. I really do. I think it's a good choice. It's an alternative thing to collect. Uh, I believe that is the returned version of Vile Kyle. This time, vomiting on other people. I don't really know what's going on there. But that's happening. Uh, we've seen this. Phony Lisa. Well, this is the B parallel. B version. Jolly Roger. Not getting mutinied, as we saw in the returned version earlier. And a silver parallel of Alien Alice. <clears throat> I don't know what the obsession is with these cards, and I don't know why I waste my money on them. Can't even play with these. You can play with magic cards, can't play with this. But I just love them. I don't know why. I have since I was a kid. Peg Leg Peter. Uh, Bonnie Bunny. Uh, Slain Wayne, the B version of the guy we saw earlier. And then a silver parallel of Rachel Rodent. I do not remember that card. 
Is that a return? No, no, that's the original. Wow, I do not remember that from the second edition. That is crazy. That I do not even recommend rec or recognize. Because I, I, what are these things? As a kid, I memorized these things. I memorized stats about them. I fucking read the backs. I put together the puzzles. I stuck them in order. I found all the C parallels, which are hard to find. I did everything, man. I fucking was obsessed. Um, and so I recognize most of these kids just right off of the bat, even if I can't remember their names, at least recognize them. Oh, we are still missing. We'll save it for last. We're still missing our refractor pack out of that box. We'll save it for last. And we'll get the big money. The big money. We can make a nice big pile. But yeah, I, I, I remember most of these kids. I remember most of the, the car art, at least, even if I don't remember the names, but nope. Surprisingly, surprise, surprise, surprise. She is uh, unusual to me. Uh, Brutal Bridget. Bye bye, Bobby, as we saw earlier. Hot Scott. As you can see through just these three boxes, we're almost close to a, co a complete basic set. We'll still be missing a few other cards for sure. Prickly Rick and nothing special about it, so that was a whiff pack. But not every pack will have something special in it. Uh, here we go. Pouring Lauren. Off the wall, Paul. Fry and Ryan, one of my favorites from the kid. Uh, clear send up to Optimus Prime there on the left hand side of the Fry and Ryan being the. Uh, this is the returned version, obviously. This is, we'll show you the returned version, right? Yeah. Uh, the original guy was the Optimus Prime, and the, the other one was Godzilla. And I loved both of those things growing up. <clears throat> and then a silver parallel of Messy Tessie. She was in that awful movie. And uh, one of the better characters in that awful movie. And I always liked her as a kid because, as you can tell, even tonight, I'm coughing up pounds of the shit. I've always had that terrible chronic bronchitis. Uh, next up is Wrinkled Rita. Gross. Ah, ugly. Such a weird name for that one. They could have made so many fat jokes, but again, they just went with ugly. If you know why that, I guess I know if fat people are ugly or whatever, but... Uh, Mona Loser. Returned. Being inspected. That's like three Mona Losers we have returned. Ah, oh, and a pencil sketch of One-Eyed Jack. Isn't that the second One-Eyed Jack uh, pencil sketch we got? Oh, no, we did not get the pencil sketch. We got the normal one. Okay. I remember. Sewer Sue. Sewer Sue. Tattooed Lou. Tattooed Lou. Doug Plug again. And Phony Lisa. Nothing special in that slot. Uh, we're getting close to the full set, though. I wonder who we're missing. Maybe you guys are keeping track. Maybe you got a checklist in hand. Maybe you know. Maybe you don't give a shit. You stopped watching. What are the two? Uh, there she is again, the return version of Acme Amy. Whew. I do have a thing for redheads. I'm not going to lie. Cactus Carol. That's not a penis euphemism at all. Uh, the return version of Mixed Mitch. And a silver parallel of Marty Mouthful. And I don't... That's a weird card. I don't remember this at all. It's not a return either. Do not remember that guy. Holy crap. Creepy, 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 creepy. Whatever. Ah, Greaser Greg has returned as the mob boss. Spacey Stacy. Mona Loser blowing up. And pencil sketch of Hot Scott. Very cool. I love those pencil sketches. wonder how many there are. Probably too many to ever collect. We have... There he is, Lukewarm. Sarah Slime. Janet Planet. And a regular version of the returned... Jolted Joel. So we might be fairly close to a set. And if so, that's pretty cool. Uh, two refractor packs to go through here. Dirty, hairy... <laughs> That joke's still funny, even though it's not 1980 anymore. Uh, Harry Gary. Yep. Get the Cracker Jack. I wonder if they made a Humpty Dumpty reference. And uh, there's the return version of Split Kit. Very good. And our last reflector pack. We're not going to get anything super special, I'm afraid. But, yeah, there she is. Rachel Rodent, the parallel. Dollar Bill, definitely one of the best cards. Uh, from the second series to me. We have not seen him anywhere, so I guess we need to get him still. Uh, Mark Bark. 
and uh, Ancient Annie. So that's it. Um, not as interesting as watching me open magic cards, I bet. But hey, if you don't play magic, it's probably just about as interesting. Um, it is cool to see these cards again. And uh, cool to see the second series out. And uh, if you like this, maybe I'll try to complete the set and we'll crack, uh, crack a little more. Otherwise, until then, thanks very much for watching. I love you. And I'll talk with you soon. Bye.